All right, if you've been watching any of my airboat videos, you know we've been fixing some leaks in the airboat. So in this episode of fixing some leaks in the airboat, we're going to put this nice, bright, shiny radiator in this airboat. Let's see how well that works out. This video brought to you in part by Bob's Soft Jaws and Custom Precision Spacers, found wherever piles of scrap lumber can be located. Well, according to the instructions, this little aluminum bracket goes under the radiator right here. This piece of rubber goes between the two to keep that bracket from eating through the radiator. And this little rubber piece will set up underneath here and go into a hole in a piece of metal that comes off of here that doesn't even exist yet. That's why I'm glad we have very detailed instructions. And now we have a dimension to work with. Radiator in, radiator out. Radiator in, radiator out. Initially, there was a plan to mount this just by putting a piece of square aluminum tubing, mounting that to this bracket here, putting this rubber isolation mount on the bottom edge of that tubing. But after some actual thought, this isn't really strong enough to support all that. These would probably eventually crack. So the much simpler plan, always a simpler plan, comes together with this setting underneath the end of the tank, supporting the weight right in here with some rubber padding in there. This being welded to the bottom of that. Another cup just like it on the other end. And then to hold all that up, since I've already got them, these Rubber isolation mounts will be set underneath here, and they'll go to a bracket on the airboat rigging that's not been built yet. So you're going to rebuild an airboat. Order up. I know everything on here is not for the airboat. A lot of this is larger orders than parts needed, so that the rest of it will become shop stock, but. Most of this was ordered because of the airboat, and some arriving soon. Anyway, I ordered this rubber off Amazon, 8 by 8 squares. It is probably a little harder than what I should use for a radiator support, but it does have some give to it. I'm cutting off a small piece of it so I can tape it inside of here so I can get the spacing right to the ends when I get this set up for welding. It doesn't take much pressure to squeeze that down. I think it'll do what I need it to do. Well, that's got it squared and centered. The holes are centered to the ends and all that good stuff. I think it's ready to tack together. All right, we're getting closer. We have some genuine wooden blocks. Perfect. I mean, nothing more precision than blocking stuff up with a block of wood. Came out to exactly the right height, actually. Got lucky there. Anyway, now all I need to do is get it level, set it in place, make some little brackets off the bottom here, weld them to the rigging, and should work, we hope. I figured out the bracket for this side, the bracket for the other side, and we'll run a brace up at an angle to hold the weight up. This will just hold the distance. Now all we gotta do is cut that out of steel. And a little swap over on the super saw here. So I can cut that little V-notch in the end. Well, I think that should hold a radiator up. I mean, you know, after we weld it, it'll be a whole lot solider than just being held in with magnets. And we might even be able to take the boards out of there. And now we'll put the rubber cushions in the ends of the radiator support. 
using a set of Bob's Custom Soft Jaws, now available for only $39.95 plus $28.50 shipping and handling. We're going to drill some drain holes to make sure trash doesn't get caught in the corners of these. Well, that didn't work out too well, so we're going to use a drill press and Bob's Spacers, version 2. These things are extremely rare on the open market, but they work real well. And right about now, you're probably asking yourself, who is this Bob fellow? And why can't I find his fine products on Amazon? Well, I don't know. And as all the great YouTubers do, I'm not going to share any links to anything that I use in this build, especially links to products that don't exist. I think that looks pretty good. You might also be asking, why is your shop such a mess? That's not important. The important part is, this actually looks like it's going to work. The rubber pads are made out of sheets of rubber that I ordered off Amazon. I will include a link to those in the video description because uh, they actually do exist. And they come four to a pack, but I only need one of them to make what I need for this project, so I'll have a few left over. Shop stock. This stuff cuts easily with a knife and just a light score in it. Gives you a nice straight line to fold across and then you just pull it over and it'll, it'll tear a little bit, but it only goes about halfway through or so. That should hold its shape real good. And cut the holes in it with just a hole punch. All right, let's try that again. Well, I think that might work. That should protect the radiator from vibration and such and support the weight of it. Only time will tell. And this is how the radiator will go in. The fuel tank will either have to be removed for the radiator to be taken out or at least slid forward out of the way a little bit. Now all I have to do is make the brackets for the top. And for the upper bracket, something like this with a little bit of an oversized hole in it so that there's plenty of room to move around if the radiator settles into lower mounts. The upper bracket does not need to be nearly as strong as the bottom brackets because all it does is holds the radiator up, keeps it from tipping, does not support any weight. Well, that finishes up the radiator supports. I think that'll work. It looks like it'll hold it in place. The only question is whether it'll come out and go back in now that the mounts are welded in. I think it will. I just got to finish welding these. They're all just tacked in place. And this part of the job's done. And then onto some coolant lines. Got to get these things routed and bent exactly the right way and put a couple supports here and there because they are rather long. Don't want them just flopping around in the breeze and vibrating, breaking clamps and connectors and all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and have a great day. Back, up, forward, down. Hey, hey, it came right out. Never doubted it for a minute. Alright, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and as always, thanks for watching.